All right, guys. Well, this sucks. So, just got done feeding the animals, feeding the pigs, and then walking over to the coop. Check on the chickens, and there's hardly any chickens left. We've been having issues lately with predation. We've had, well, just a little while ago, we had crows flying into the farrowing barn, if you remember. And I put up all the netting, keeping the crows out because they were going and stealing all the eggs. Then we had barn owls perched over the chickens that were outside. The mum with their little black hens, or little black chicks. Got them all moved inside. And then I had the gate open for a couple hours the other night. Had what I was thinking was a fox come through, kill a bunch of chickens, kill a bunch of hens. Killed one of our mother hens, a bunch of her chicks. Killed a bunch of the teenage chicks. So over the last week I've been super diligent, keeping it locked up. A little chicken door stays closed, everything stays closed. We did have a raccoon problem a couple weeks ago. I killed one of them, we got rid of it. So I come out and sure enough, there's a big hole where it looks like probably a raccoon dug underneath the gate, got inside and just slaughtered almost all the chickens. I haven't seen any of the little chicks running around yet. Some of the teenage chicks, there's a little black band of them around here, six, seven of them or so. Um, they've still been able to slip out of the hoop house. They're a run about and down with the pigs someplace. So they, they're alive. And I think there's like four hens left now. So we went from like 30 some odd birds with the chicks, we're up to around like 60. You know, basically almost doubling our flock with just two hens. And then their little brood down to about four birds. So that's a big hit when predators come in and just slaughter your flock and just leave a bunch of dead birds and don't even take them and eat them. That's the worst part. That's the part that pisses me off. You know, an occasional hawk taking a bird once in a while isn't the end of the world. But when they come in and just kill everything and leave it, it's absolute waste. And I have no sympathy for those animals. So, it's time to get the traps out. See what we can do about securing uh, the structure a little better. Then moving on. You see the hens will actually roost up on top of these roost poles. So a fox would have a hard time getting to all these chickens, especially as we, they get out farther on these poles out here. A raccoon, however, climb right up on these wooden poles here, go right across the top, quick. Everyone show this here. And then walk across these bars, pull a couple down. Once the chickens scatter and they're on the ground, they can't really see because it's dark and they don't go anywhere. And the raccoon just walks around picking them all off. God, they're such worthless. All right, so it wasn't a raccoon that was causing us problems. It was a fox. As you saw it several times during the day, I was talking to Trey in the store the other day, looked out and saw the chickens inside the coop going crazy and actually saw the fox jump up onto the railing, jumping up into the rafters to go after him in the middle of the day. Absolutely insane. So got a trap set up. The chickens had enough. They said the hell with this murder house. We are going to go live in the trees, so they're living up in the trees now. Um, I actually caught the fox, uh, but only caught it by the tail, and when we went to go check on things, it ran off, took a good chunk of its tail off. Its tail's still intact, just a uh, fur got pulled off it. So now there's like a bobtail fox. It's like from where its hips are, no fur, then fur. And then we haven't seen any activity. In the meantime, killed another, well, I killed the 10 from before. The traps are still up. The coop is getting more secure. The current chickens we have, we have about 10 chickens left. For now, we're waiting on the fox to come back and then I will trap it and kill it. If it came and took a chicken and consumed it, that's one thing, but it has come in a very short amount of time, succeeded in killing around 40 or so chickens and just leaving them for dead. The hell with that fox. Just started getting consistent eggs after those crows. Gosh, one thing after another. Oh man, what a great morning. So we had two surprises this morning. We had a big old fat raccoon. But we've also had a mangy fox. Well, we got the fox last night. Um, I've already dispatched it. Show a few pictures of it here shortly. It's pretty mangy and it's missing half its fur and it's pretty sickly looking. So it's probably for the best that it was put down. Probably why it was so brazen. And uh, getting to the coop and coming back. I mean, it's come back. We've spawned in the daylight eight or nine times. It's It's been pretty relentless. But it's gone now. Thank goodness. Out of its own misery and out of our own hair. So now we can get back to building up our chicken coop and our flock. So I've got the fox sitting on a piece of paper right now. Because uh, mange is contagious for humans and uh, dogs and cats. So I really don't want to handle it any more than necessary. I really wish it wasn't on the property hardly at all. But... 
here it is. And that makes sense why it was uh, attacking the chickens so frequently, despite being almost trapped several times, being chased by dogs several times. Yesterday, me and Hershey went to go look for its den, assuming that it was probably a female with young. And it was sitting right here on this little knob, basically behind the beehives. Overlooking the house, watching us and watching what we were doing throughout the day. It killed some of the chickens and had a little cache up here where I could go up underneath all this old brush. So I had a little cache, it was hanging out. And uh, we just got the trap set up, caught it, dispatched it, and see that it's just covered in mange, which makes sense. It had a compelling reason to continually come back versus, um, despite having so much human presence and activity being around. The chicken killer is done. The fox is gone. It's a good start to the morning. We get the chicks moved in, get back to life. All right, that's it for now. Thanks, guys.